Hi kids. Hello. How are you all? I hope you are also fine. Today we are going to learn about subject and predicate. This exercise is in page 37 in your student's book. A sentence is made up of two parts, subject and predicate. The part which tells us about the person or the animal doing the action is the subject. The part which tells us about the subject or the action done by the subject is the predicate. Um, so in subject, there will be some names. Okay, So, it may be an animal's name or some person's name. Sometimes there will not be any names. Instead of that, I, you, we, they. Like this, uh, these kinds of uh, uh, words will be there. Any one of the words will be there. So, if you see this kind of words, that is called uh, pronoun. Okay. So, this is also a subject. Uh, names are Subject ni aduthto na names are go. Adho animal name, illa person name, illa or thing, or a name, edu one alo irikla. So, whatever it may be, that is called subject. Anga pair illa abdi na, adho subject a predicate and confuse aha kura. You should not get confused. You have to uh, mark it as subject sometimes name will not be there pair illama irukum i u we they idu mari la word word first word a vachu or sentence start a irukum so in the mari word path, uh, words pathinga so you have to decide as subject idu mari words vandirundha kuda adu subject nu mark pananum adu the part which tells us about the subject or the action done by the subject is the predicate in the subject la solirukavanga the subject part la avanga enna senjaanga what action they have done so that is called predicate adha pathi solirukanga liya the the action of the subject will be discussed in this part subject la ullavanga enna senjaanga appdin solradhu dhaan predicate the subject in a sentence names whom or what the sentence is about um, in the subject part, they, uh, there will be a discussion, um, so some names will be there. So, yara pati, enna uh, pati in the sentence vandirukku, abdi ingrudh subject. In a subject, there can be a noun or a pronoun or a noun phrase. Subject part la noun irukla, illa pronoun irukla, illa noun phrase irukla. So, for example, Naveen plays tennis. Here the noun, Naveen is subject. Ipo inge noun kudutthirukkaanga, they have given a noun. So, we have marked easily as subject. See the next sentence, we are going out for dinner. See the word, the very first word in the sentence is we. No name here, no name is given here. So, will you mark this as subject or predicate? We have to mark this as Subject. In a pair kudukala nalo, the first word or sentence la, idu madri yana word, I, U, V, they, edu vandalo, nama subject nu mark pananu. We have to mark it as subject. Here the pronoun, V is subject. V ingradu vandu pronoun. Pair irinda adha noun nu choluwa. Pair illa abdi na adha pronoun nu choluwa. We call it as pronoun. The mother's name is Rani. Here my mother's name is a Noun phrase. Mother is a noun. See here um, the extra words. My name. All these are together called as sub. Uh, together called as noun phrase. Okay. So in the all the words they have used, we say noun phrase. No, sorry. Mother is a noun or a pair. Okay. So um, it is a subject. Noun phrase. So you know, we subject. No mark. Panla. Pronoun irindhalo subject nu mark pananu. Inga noun vandhalo nama we have to mark it as subject. A, sub, uh, a sentence may also have an object or a sentence la object varala and the object, uh, the object of a sentence comes after the verb in the predicate. See here, prem. Prem is a what? Subject. And washed. Washed is a Washed is an action word. Action word is called as verb. We can say uh, the action word is verb. Verb is action word. 
both are same rendume one da verb nalum one da action word nalum one da okay and uh, his car wash his car this is object okay so one who receives the action done by the subject is called object in the subject prem ena senjanga what did he do he washed his car so this is object ivanga senja action a receive pandravanga vande object okay receive na ortanga ortangalukku ivanga senja action avangala poi serud so that is object inga so a verb starts from the verb or action word lend start aagum predicate ngiradhu um, or sometimes uh, some helping verbs will be there is was or were like this okay uh, inga action word ngiradhunala so nama easy a find out panitom ipo helping verbs is was idu mari uh, helping verb vanda kuda so adulend the predicate start aagudun we have to understand that okay so predicate starts from the helping verb or main verb and ends here at last in a sentence the subject is a person or a thing that does the action or or vishayatha seiravanga or action seiravanga that is called subject avangaloda per irukum some names will be there that is subject and avanga enna senjaangalo avanga senja action yara vandu seirudho that is called object for example renu feeds the baby renu feed pandranga ooti udranga okay so avanga seira action vandu yara seirudhu baby vandu seirudhu so baby is object and renu is noun and feeds is a verb okay next one is the predicate is that part of a sentence that tells what is said of the subject and the subject pathi enna sollirukangalo adutha part la that is called predicate subject na names irukum predicate na adula and the subject enna senjaanga avanga enna senjaanga nu solra part da vandu predicate the complete predicate contains verb verb phrase or uh, verb or verb phrase plus all the words after the verb okay see here for example ram the tailor ram subject na pera mattum mark panna kudada adoda vandiruka the the tailor avanga ennava irukanga abdingrad pathiyum subject sollum okay it tells about um, what the subject is or what uh, so we have to mark it as subject and is teaching is verb phrase and after this all the other groups of words are together called predicate so predicate starts from here is as i said you already the is was idu mariyana helping verbs vandirukum sila samayam sometimes it, this will not be there main verbs will be there so anyhow you have to start marking as predicate from the verb okay and till the end from here to here it is called as predicate and here is here is stitching is the verb phrase and all the words that follow the verb phrase along with it form the complete predicate as i said you already and uh, let's do the exercise can you tell me the answer the little trees what is the answer who can say the answer the little trees you have to find out the answer at the opposite side the opposite side la kuduthiruka answers edu match aagum abdinte paakano see here were covered with flowers yes very good i can hear you saying some of you are saying the answer very good the fear of the dogs made him run fast good my aunt and i are learning to dance good the bottle of milk fell from my hand and broke good the early bird catches the worm good very good let's check the answer i have given you the answer here see here that's all about this children thank you let's meet in the next video bye